Welcome to Rhythm. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use weekly dashboards to keep your plan on track. The right dashboards help you have the right discussions. And Rhythm dashboards are different in that they help you to understand the story behind the numbers and the status. You can work on your plan, know how you're doing, and collaborate on adjustments you need to make with your team in order to succeed. You want to make adjustments early in the quarter. And if you're measuring the right things and asking the right questions, you can know early in the quarter when items become stuck and make adjustments to achieve success. It's the adjustments you make weekly that win your quarter. Now let me show you the big picture of how this works. A rhythm program is all about helping you accelerate your growth with purpose. And that starts with our coaches helping you to develop a think rhythm where you work out the right strategy for the business. We also help you with the right plan rhythm to help you put in place the right execution plans both annually and quarterly that are aligned to achieve your strategy. Then finally, we help you with the do rhythm to really help you get the right execution each quarter through effective weekly meetings and effective weekly meeting prep. All along ensuring that your execution weekly is aligning to achieve your plans, which are aligned to achieve your strategy, to help you accelerate your growth with purpose. I'm going to focus here on dashboards and weekly meetings and weekly meeting prep. Let me show you how that works in the software. I'm Jack the CEO and one of the primary things that we coach Jack and the rest of his team is to prepare effectively for weekly meetings. And so Jack is going to use the Rhythm software to do his weekly meeting preparation. And in doing so, he's worked with his coach to understand what are the top KPIs that he owns in the business and what are his top priorities this quarter in the business to achieve the quarterly plan and to achieve uh, success for the quarter. Those dashboards have already been created as part of the planning process. And so what Jack's going to do is he's going to come in each week and he's going to update his status. And so his employee NPS number is doing very well. And so he's going to update that status to super green. Next, he is going to update his priority status each week of the quarter. And his top priority for the quarter is to develop the keynote speech for the client user conference. And that's been running a bit behind. And so his status is that yellow, indicating that he's not going to make the September 1st date. And in doing so, he also needs to open up this priority and provide the story behind the status. Why is it that it's yellow and what are the action plans to get to green? And you can see he's indicated some comments here. He follows that same methodology for each one of his other priorities. This confirm and approve pricing and packaging is also running behind. And he's indicated in a comment that he needs some help from Joan in marketing. And Joan has seen that comment and she's basically said to Jack, hey, I'm glad to help. Let's talk about where you are and how I can help you. And so comments enable collaboration within the software and within your team. So you can effectively collaborate on KPIs and priorities in between your weekly meetings. So that when you get to the weekly meeting, you can make decisions faster and you can make better decisions because you've already shared the collective intelligence of your team. So Jack's preparing for the weekly meeting. He's updated all of his statuses on his priorities and his KPIs. He's going to review his actions list and he's going to plan his week. Now he's ready for the weekly meeting. And so he chooses weekly meeting. <clears throat> it's a beautiful Monday morning. The executive team is together and they're going to review their execution plans for the quarter. First thing they always do is start with a round of good news. Starts the meeting on a positive tone. And engages the team. Next thing they want to do is talk about the numbers. What, where are our successes and where are our struggles? We have a big success here in employee NPS. And so we'll click on that status dashboard 
and let's share some learning and understanding of why we're so successful here and what we can do to keep this going throughout the quarter. Next, we're going to drill down on any red or yellow items to see how we can help each other as a team. And here it looks like Joe is struggling with number of billable days. So we'll open that dashboard. We can instantly see the status and the numbers. And we can also see the story behind the status. What's going on? Why is this red status? And what does Joe think we need to do to get to green? And we can also see that both Jeff and Jack have been helping Joe throughout the week to understand the right action plan to turn this around. And so we've been collaborating, we're making adjustments, and we're, we're planning that this will not end the quarter in red, it's going to make it to green. And we follow that same methodology as review all of our KPIs dashboards. Then we also want to discuss our priorities. What are our top actions for the quarter to grow the business? And we can see those listed here on this energy map. We can see our company priorities, the executive team has determined, and we can see the individual priorities for team members that are aligned to achieve those and their statuses. Here we see a super green for John in sales to close four deals. He's looking like he's going to close six. So congratulations to John. Next we want to review those reds and yellows. And we can see that Jill is stuck creating her support sales presentation. So we can open that and again we understand the story behind the status and the team will work and collaborate to help Jill make the right adjustments to achieve success on this priority. And you follow that same methodology throughout each one of these dashboards. Doing this will help your team stay focused and aligned throughout the quarter. And they will be able to use these weekly dashboards to keep your plan on track.